I'm not sure if to talk yet because I can still see a circle spinning so I think it's live now I hope you're well it's wellness Wednesday very quick sip of coffee um, I'm gathering my energy this morning because today is a content day and I'm really excited to create my next phase of content firstly for the wellness school um, to be launched in two weeks time and secondly an article for Kittypedia that will be published in the next two weeks and really just to start preparing um, content for the months ahead so that's I love writing and creating content so on my run this morning I was thinking to myself today is a content day today is a content day and really starting to get my mind and my body in the mood for creativity so um, to that end I thought I might give you a sneak peek of my new book which will come out later this year and what I've decided to do for my second adults book is a collaboration so it's a collaborative book with other women and specifically other mums from all over the world and the title of the book is called not just a super mum so this book is going to include stories of other women mamas share their journeys to navigate self families and their careers so you can too so this is really cool and it's going to come out at the end of this year it's a collaboration with 10 other women uh, and we each write a chapter for the book and share our story about um, and the title is go get a mama so this opportunity came up by chance as a lot of things do and I thought why not jump on board it's a great way to um, share my story with a broader audience all over the world um, and to collaborate with other like-minded women on a project who want to um, have a sense of self have a career and um, and you know achieve things in their life so this will probably come out later part of this year in print um, ebook uh, and on Amazon so wherever you are in the world you'll be able to order a copy of that at the end of this year so I'm super excited and I already have a good idea for my chapter and what it will be about um, and so I'll start working on that too in the next few weeks because you don't need to leave things to the last minute do we so um, that's really cool so I thought I would tell you a little bit about what happened on retreat so just back from retreat on Sunday afternoon it was the first retreat for 2021 and we had 20 women and it was amazing um, I'm just looking for my remote I hope the air conditioning's not too loud it's still quite hot in Townsville despite autumn being here so um, I was sweating like the proverbial on my run this morning so retreat was um, inspired by the desire to um, share health and wellness content in a relaxed fun informal setting with a variety of different references um, aimed at women of different um, ages and stages in their life and we had a very broad cross-section of women some mums some grandmas some women with no children um, and younger mums too so that was really cool because I think um, each women each um, women at a different stage in their life was able to kind of share something or influence another in in a way and there was some really beautiful um, stories and relationships formed this weekend and I'm hopeful that um, those relationships will continue for many many years to come so um, last year I had the idea to do my first retreat was in, which was in October last year at Mission Beach Eco Village and why I love this venue is because it's separate bungalows nestled in the rainforest on the beach so you have the healing power of nature all around you but you have you're not feeling like you're in a big hotel with lots of stuff going around you there's a beautiful um, lagoon pool at the center of the resort and it's very intimate so maximum 25 people which is good for me because I feel that um, it's still very personal for people it's an intimate setting but equally people can have their own retreat within a retreat so if they want to rest in their bungalow they can if they want to walk on the beach they can if they want to sit by the pool they can you know so this time what we did we had um, Jeanette Murray Wakelin return to us and she gave us a really exciting um, introduction to preparation and cooking of raw food. So Jeanette was a cancer um, sufferer in her 50s, stage four breast cancer, and she healed her body without surgery and treatment on a raw food um, diet. So fruits and vegetables uncooked, basically raw food, vegan diet. 
So Jeanette showed us how to prepare raw food because often I hear as well, oh, you know, how do I get, how do I eat more plants or how do I, you know, experiment with veganism and so on and so forth. And Jeanette showed us some really simple and cool and creative ways that we can just look at food differently. We can um, infuse our bodies and nourish our bodies more holistically with food that we grow ourselves. And it was really interesting and I think people got a lot out of that because often now I'm seeing and meeting and hearing of people who have got cancer and are told to go vegan, um, have um, polyps in their bowel and have been told to go vegan but they're not they're then confused they're left at home thinking well what do we eat how do we eat it what do we do so on and so forth so really since i've started adopting more of a plant-based diet i've noticed my health and well-being changed dramatically and i don't take any medications or anything anymore and i'm i'm fit and healthy but the reality is that it took me experimenting so it was really nice um and i'm not necessarily a raw vegan i do dabble in meat from time to time I do dabble in um, other foods and I do still cook for my family but our, on, a, on a whole our diet is much more plant based so it was really good to get some hints and tips from Jeanette as well and she's written a couple of books and she's produced a documentary because she is a Guinness World Record holder for the most marathons run consecutively and she did that in her 60s she ran 366 marathons in 366 days and the documentary is about that journey so that's super awesome and last year she was meant to be traveling through Europe promoting that documentary but that didn't happen for obvious reasons so um, I'll share the link to her work in here and you can take a look at it for yourself and um, I'm going to interview Janet in a few weeks time for the wellness school as well so um, we also had a sound bath which is beautiful because we now know that you know sound at different frequencies helps raise our vibration sound can be very healing so sitting in the rainforest next to the beach having a sound bath and a meditation was very beautiful we had some really fun pamper sessions um, with body shop products we learned about how we can use feng shui around our home to support our health and well-being we also learned about lymphatic health and we had lymphatic ma uh, drainage massages which was awesome there was other treatments provided as well such as reiki we shared lots of inspiring stories and books. Oh, excuse me, I have a call coming in. Uh, that's an interesting call I'll tell you about in a moment. Um, we had inspiring books and stories with a panel session. Um, we had lots of fun and we had a lot of delicious food. We learned a lot about stretching, how to stretch and nourish and maintain our body. Um, and also we did beach yoga. And we had a gorgeous boat trip around some of the tropical islands with lots of swimming. So it was super wonderful weekend, Friday lunchtime to Sunday lunchtime. Um, and uh, yeah, the next one is October 22nd to 24th of October 2021. So um, we have several spots booked up already. But if you are interested in an amazing weekend in far north Queensland, do send me a message and I'll reach out and have a chat with you. So that was lovely. So to that end, to that phone call, that's a timely reminder of my next point, which is about spontaneity. So um, spontaneous fun, spontaneously doing things and spontaneously meeting people is often where kind of magical things happen. So often I talk about, oh, I accidentally met this person, but you know, obviously it wasn't an accident because I happened to be there at the right time and to be willing to form a connection with someone. But last week, I think it was maybe um, Wednesday last week, Thursday, I was watching a TEDx talk um, from this guy. Um, his name is Nigel Marsh. And this was filmed in 2010 in Sydney, and I'd not seen it before. But it was a super awesome um, talk about, you know, how we all aspire to have well-being in our future, but often we need to get... <laughs> you know, sacked from our job and our life comes crashing down before we actually focus on balance and well-being. And I talk a lot about that too in my work, but uh, this guy, Nigel Marsh, is, is funny and, and uh, he's written several books as well. So I watched the TED Talk and I went onto his website and started stalking him a little bit and then I fired him off an email from my bed actually and said, hey, just watch your TED Talk, it's super cool. This is me and this is what I'm doing. He's calling me and I'm hanging up on him, how terrible. He's prob I have to tell him to watch this live. So um, <laughs> what's so funny is um, 
I then, he emailed me back right away and I said, you know, I'd love to speak with you. This is the work that I'm doing. Uh, he said, oh, this is a project that I'm working. He sent me some of his work to view. I've sent him some of my work to view. So we now have this really interesting connection going and I'm hoping that um, we'll be able to share some of each other's work. But it was really spontaneous and I thought I'm just going to message him right now. And the fact that he wrote right back was really exciting. And now he's calling me twice and I've hung up on him. So I have to apologize. Um, but that hopefully he'll agree to be interviewed for the wellness school. He's written three books. They're super funny. Um, about health and well-being in your 40s and 50s. Um, I think one's called Fat Fired and um, uh, let's see, if, um, I'll just tell you the titles and you can look them up for yourself. The first one is called Fat, Forty and Fired. The second one is called Overworked and Underlaid. And the third one is called Fit, Fifty and Fired Up. So that's really funny. And I'm looking forward to chatting with him about those books. And I've got several other people lined up to be interviewed for the Wellness School in the next three weeks. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm just going to wrap up now. Um, this Saturday, I'm over at Magnetic Island with the Magnetic Island Koala Hospital. We're doing a fundraiser at Nelly Bay. And I'll be there with some of my books um, and donations. And um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, a proportion of the sale of those books will be given to the Magnetic Island Hospital. So if you're around Maggie on Saturday or if you're in towns with not much to do, pop on over, please, um, and join that event. It will be lovely. It's at the base, um, base backpackers area. And on Monday coming, I'm at Embrace Fitness for one of the final series of talks, free talks around um, working with wellness, and that's lunchtime, 12 o'clock, at Embrace Fitness in Kerwin. So those are a few things coming up. A new book, lots of new content, lots of new collaborations and lots of new and exciting things to look forward to post-retreat. So thanks for watching. I hope you are well um, and if you need any support, just send me a message. Take care and I'll see you real soon. Bye.